Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of statistics for social sciences. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the concept of skewness and its types. You can find more videos on statistics, SPSS and R Studio, econometrics and economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the introduction. Skewness is a measure of asymmetry or distortion of symmetric distribution. So basically, it measures the deviation of the given distribution of a random variable from a symmetric distribution such as normal distribution. You can also find my video on normal distribution. The link is given in the uh, description. So basically, skewness measures the deviation of the given distribution of a random variable from the normal distribution. So a normal distribution is without any skewness as it is symmetrical on both sides. A distribution is asymmetrical when its left and right side are not mirror images. So that is the idea of skewness. There are three types of skewness. Positive skewness, negative skewness, and zero skewness. So let's understand the types. First is zero skewness. So when a distribution has zero skew, it is symmetrical and its left and right sides are mirror images. And therefore, we can say that the observations are distributed similarly on the left and right sides of its peak. So observations are equally distributed on both sides. In this case, the value of mean, median and mode are same. See this diagram? We can see mean, median and mode are equal. We have a symmetrical curve and observations are equally distributed on left and right sides of its peak. Now let's understand the idea of positive skewness. Positively skewed distribution is longer on the right side of its peak than on its left. It is also referred to as right skewed distribution. So a right skewed distribution has a long tail on its right side and skewness value is more than zero. In this case, mean is greater than median and median is greater than mode. And more observations on the left side of the mean. You can see the diagram. Here mean is greater than median, is greater than mode. And more observations are on the left side of the mean. So most of the observations are here. You can see the cursor. Here. Most of the observations are on the left side. Let's see this example. Suppose marks of students are positively distributed. I, I mean, they, they follow the positive, uh, positively skewed distribution. So more students fall in the normal or lower marks group rather than a few higher marks group. So most extreme values are on the right side of the mean. Most extreme values are here. Therefore, we have a long tail on its right side. And marks of the most of the students lie to the left of the mean somewhere here. So that is the idea of positive skewness. Let's understand the idea of negative skewness. A negatively skewed distribution is longer on the left side of its peak than on its right. It is also referred to as left skewed distribution. A left skewed distribution has a long tail on its left side. And the value of the skewness is less than zero. So in this case, mean is less than median and median is less than mode. And more observations are on the right side of the mean. See this diagram. 
mean is less than median, is less than more. More observations are on the right side of the mean. So more observation, most of the observations lie here to the left of the, to the right of the mean. Let's understand the uh, negative skewness with the same example. Suppose marks of students follow negatively skewed distribution. So more students fall in the normal or higher marks group rather than a few lower marks group. So most extreme values are on the left side here. More extreme values are here and most of the values lie to the right of the mean. And therefore, we have a long tail on its left side. Here we have the long tail. And in this case, mean is less than median. Now, how to compute skewness? So, uh, we use two methods. One is using mode. So, here we have the formula. Skewness is equal to x bar minus mode upon standard deviation. If the value is greater than 0, it is positively skewed. And if the value is uh, less than 0, it is negatively skewed. Using median, so skewness is equal to 3 in bracket x bar minus median upon standard deviation. Again, if the value is greater than 0, it is positively skewed. And if the value is uh, uh, less than 0, it is negatively skewed. So that is the idea of uh, skewness. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.